Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. So you guys, this is our cash envelope stuffing video for the month of June. This is our final paycheck for our 10 month cycle. Remember in July and August budget, we will be on our summer share. So I do wanna take you into um, the new uh, cash envelopes that we're gonna be using. I'm gonna update our summer, sh our summer groceries and then we received the blessing. So I'm gonna stuff that as well. Uh, we're also going to show you our cash category. So let me start with cash category. So here's our budget sheet for the month. And on the back of the written, I always do the virtual or the digital copy, but I always write out my cash categories. I'm doing two things that way. I know how much money I need to get out of the bank and then what denominations I need to get from the bank. And the bank is really good about giving me the specific denoms that I ask for. So I have to get out money from Mr. Jerome. He cuts my grass. He does two cuts per month. He's coming this week. So I do 110, which is $55 per time. Then I do gas for the month, which is $250, but I already needed to fill up. So what I did was went ahead and um, I put in $50, just $50 even using my debit card and I got the, re the rest out in cash. For my preps, I've spent $13 of the $25 that I had allocated, so there's $12 for preps. Groceries is $300, there's four weeks, so it's $75 per week. And then um, there's actually a fifth, let me check to make sure if there's a fifth Wednesday. I think there's a fifth, there is a fifth Wednesday um, in the month of June, so it actually should have been $60 per week but I'm gonna work on that as far as maybe grabbing some child support out. I just put $75 a week, and this week I don't even think I need that much grocery. So I'm gonna work with it for the first week and then roll over. My summer groceries is $75. Again, that will be for my last week of groceries because I do not take out grocery money in the summertime, not from my summer share account. I save the money for that. Then we received the blessing, um, so I, broke that down into four different weeks of how much money it would be for each week for the fourth four weeks. And so I'm gonna break that down and put that into my um, grocery money. And I may even take the $75 for the fifth week out of this because I wasn't thinking about a fifth week. I thought there were only four Wednesdays, but there are five. So then I went over to, um, from when I went to the bank, this was how much I was gonna need to get out. And I actually needed to add in, um, so I got 1150s, 920s, 510s, 75s, 14 ones, and 12 quarters, which gave me um, $832. And I actually think there was another $60 that I had to pull out so I actually think I got 892 out of the bank. Let me make sure that that is correct and I'm gonna show you how we're breaking these dollars. All right, here is my old cash envelopes that um, I will be retiring these since I was blessed with the new ones from Shonversation, um, her Etsy shop. I'll try to link that again if anybody's interested in ordering from her Etsy shop, but these I've had for years. Came from Mom Needs a Clone and I have loved them. I also got, I think some of these came from Coupon and Crystal, um, some of the ones in the back, but these I got from Mom Needs a Clone, and then these in the back came from Coupon and Crystal, have served me well. Well, when I was going through to clean out, Holy Spirit said, don't forget to clean out your wallet. I found this, which is a $50 bill, which was in my gas, because I had to go to South Carolina this past week and I had to use money and I thought I had used up my last money for gas, which is why I went ahead and put gas in already for the month of June. But this was an extra $50. It wasn't extra, it was actually allocated for gas. I just thought I had used up all the money that I had or Holy Spirit just put it in there for me. I'm gonna go with that. So I'm gonna put this back into the gas budget because gas has continued to rise and I wanna make sure that we are covered for gas and I don't have to try to pull money from somewhere. So I'm gonna throw this in the gas envelope. I was gonna put this into savings, but I'm not gonna stress myself out over where's my extra gas gonna come from. I'm just gonna put this in my gas budget. Now my gas budget has traditionally been about $500 in the last two months, which is 
twice what I normally budget for, but I'm out of work, right? I'm on summer break, so I'm not driving to work every day, which is going to save me on gas, even though I have to do my regular driving around town and taking the kids to their activities, I'm still not driving to work. And then with the new position, not the new position, the new office, I'm still going to be doing the same position, but I'm going to be in a different office. I'm going to be closer to home, so I'm not spending as much in gas. We pray that that is the testimony and I'm able to save in some areas. So I'm going to grab this and put this in my gas envelope. In addition to that, I'm doing a June no spin. So I've already got my June uh, no spin challenge ready. So I'm going to be not spending money 20 days is my challenge. So I'm going to pick 20 days that I'm not spending money. Um, those are probably going to be my um, weekdays. They may even be some weekends. But of course, remember we have... Um, Graduation is June the 4th, uh, June the 11th. My father's graduating from a college in South Carolina, so I have to travel that day. So those are going to be some days that I may have to spend money, but I think I've already allocated for it in my budget. Like I've got to pay for the kids' meals for after graduation, so I've allocated for that. And then I'm traveling on the 11th to go to graduation, so I have to allocate it for that. Other than that, I don't have any other expenses. Um, we do have a house project coming up on the third, but I've already allocated house money for that out of my Capital One 360 sinking fund. So I don't have to spend money out of my money for that. So I have allocated some days, 20 days is my goal to not spend any money randomly. And I already have things in my mind that I wanna spend money on, but I'm not going to do it. All right, so here are my new um, envelopes. Remember these came from Shonversation. So I have groceries, I have gas, I have groceries and gas, groceries, gas, groceries and gas. And I made those that way so that I was dividing it up e evenly for every week. Um, so five weeks and then I have lawn maintenance for Mr. Jerome. Oh, the extra $60 was for beauty because I forgot um, Jackson needed a haircut. It was personal money. Jackson, Jackson needs a haircut. And I'm not getting a haircut this month. I'm getting my nails filled in. So I'm taking my haircut money because I know some people don't don't think I need to get my nails done. But I'm taking my haircut money and I'm using it to get a fill in on my nails. So I'm gonna I'm I'm growing my hair out. It's my haircut money and my eyebrow money that I'm taking to hopefully be enough to get my nails filled in. And then recreation, which we don't have anything going on yet. Eating out, I do have to pay for the kids' meals for graduation night. I didn't pull out cash for that. I was just going to use my debit card. Um, so that's what that is for. And then there's a $20 challenge, a $10 challenge, and a $5 challenge, which I'm going to be doing uh, the $5 challenge. And I'm also going to be doing another challenge, which is going to be the... Um, this savings challenge per week, which you take for whatever number of weeks you're on, that's how much money you save. So I'm going to try to start the first, because we're technically on week 26, right? Because I just got this. So I'm going to start at weeks one, two, three, four, five. That'll be $10 that I should have saved. No, that's more than 10. That's $15 to get me through the first week. 21, 28. So I'm going to just see how many weeks that I can save in this savings challenge money here and the $5 challenge. Where did that one go? Oh, this one right here. Those are going to go into my um, baby step three. This is my baby step three, my three to six months savings. So when I'm doing the savings challenge, that's what that is going for. So let me grab out my cash and start stuffing envelopes. Okay, so here's my cash. Remember, I got out $892 because I had to add in the $60 for personal money. I forgot about that. Um, with that being said, I um, am going to allocate this money out the way it should be. So, okay. for Mr. Jerome, I need 110 So, that's 50 
and 50. That's two weeks. And then I need two fives. So that's lawn care for two weeks. Okay. Then for gas, I need $50 for four weeks. And then I found $50 in my gas envelope. So that's gonna be an extra week of gas because there are five weeks and I need to make sure that I have enough gas. I'm putting gas in my car right now about every fourth day and it's about $53. But that's because I've had work. Now that I'm on summer break, I don't have work. So prayerfully, this will get me through six days, maybe seven, because I'm not going to work. Right, so I've got gas money, so that's all the gas. So that's five weeks full of gas. Then I have my preps, which is $12. So I have $12 for prep. So that's 10, 11, 12. That's $12 for my grocery preps. Then I have 75 for four weeks. So. 50, 50, 50, 50, 70, 70, 70, 70, 75, 75, 75, 75. So that's groceries for four weeks. And then I have one more groceries of 75. That would be for my summer groceries. So let me stuff that and I still have some cash left and I'll show you what that cash is going for in a sec. So that's groceries and gas. Groceries. So that was for four weeks of groceries. And so I'm out one week of groceries because I didn't plan for the fifth week, but I found a $50 for the fifth week of gas. So I'm gonna deal with this um, fifth week of groceries in a second. So lawn maintenance, that was for Mr. Jerome. So that's two $55 payments. So that's $110 for Mr. Jerome. Then I'm down to beauty. I'm down to beauty, which is $25 for Jackson, and then um, $35 for mom to get her nails done. So let me see what I have left. Okay. Out of the money I have left, I have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 30, 40, 50, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Okay. Okay. So Jackson needs twenty-five for his hair cut. So twenty. One, two, three, four, five. And I forget that his barber will now let us do cash out. So I probably should have done that, but. That's fine. And then 35 is for my nails. That makes up the $60 that's always been in our budget 
for haircuts because I normally would get a haircut or use that money for my groceries. Okay, so that's $35 for my nails to get filled in and then Jackson get his haircut. So let me put that money in here. That's gonna be um, personal money. So that's $60. The haircut for Jackson did go up. Okay. All right, now let me see what I have left. Now I have 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100, 1, 2, 3. I have 103. Then I have an extra, this is for my preps. So I need 75 for the extra fifth week of groceries. 20, 40, 60, 70, 1, 2, 3, 74, 75. So that's gonna be right here for the fifth week of groceries. I've made it up. And again, that was a blessing that came in to help us with some summer. I don't know what that is, that ain't right. Something didn't go in there, right? All right, so this leaves me with $100 left, which is what I should have had. Um, I did have to shuffle around some, some denominations because I don't think I got the right ones when I was doing the personal money because I added that in late. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take $30 of this out for preps. So that's going to leave me. So $30 will go to preps. I gave myself some extra prep money which is perfect because water's on sale this week. So I gave myself extra prep money um, out of that love offering that we got. Actually, let me give myself $40 for preps this week. Um, that'll be helpful. Well, let me see. I need to switch around some cash. Okay. That gives me $70 left, and I have... I have five weeks of groceries and I'm trying to stuff okay so I want to give myself ten extra dollars per week so I'm gonna pull out a five and I'm gonna put a 20 in this first week so that's gonna give me no, I'm gonna put a 10 in so that's gonna give me eighty dollars right so now I have that's gas It's a delicate balancing act, y'all. <laughs> okay. Then groceries, I have... No, oh, that didn't get... Yeah, that gave me 80 in there. So that's 75. This $5 here is going to give me 80 in there. Okay. Then I have my gas. Then I have 75 in here, but I want 80. So I'm going to take out this five and I'm gonna take this ten and that's gonna give me 80 70 80 okay then that's gonna give me my gas then this one has 75 I'm gonna add five dollars in here so that's gonna give me 80 then I have gas then I have groceries which is 75 but I want this to be 80 and this is my last week so let me do this 20, 40, 60, 80. 20, 40, 60, 80. Okay, now that's gonna give me, for this week's groceries, and then gas, okay? Now let me see what that leaves me with now. That leaves me with 20, 40, 60, 70, 1, 2, 3, 4, 75, okay. All right, I have my summer 75, and then I have $3 and change. I still don't have my preps, which was the original $12. All right, so I'm gonna take $40 
and I'm gonna put that in my prep. So I was able to bolster up my preps. Like I said, water's on sale and there are a couple other things that I may wanna add to the pantry. So I'm gonna take $40 to add that to that. That left me with $38. I believe it's $38, 20, 30, five, and then 38. I'm gonna put this in the eating out category for graduation. So this is gonna go in eating out for graduation. I do have money set aside for that in my debit card, but if I don't have to use my debit card, that would help me out a lot. So that's where I put that. I'm gonna take the prep money and the week one groceries and put that in my wallet. So again, I gave myself 50, 70, $80 for week one groceries and $20 for prep. So that's gonna make the first week heavier than all the other weeks because I'm doing preps in that. Now, anything I don't use is going to go in a special savings fund for um, some savings that we're doing. Anything that doesn't get spent is going to go into the savings envelope. So that's for the monthly. Now, let me just show you this last thing, which is my summer groceries envelope. So I have the $75 for summer groceries. And that's gonna go in here. And this should give us $750. We should have $750 in this particular um, savings. So let me count this. That's 10 weeks, $75 a week. That's 100, 20, 40, 60, 81, that's 200. 20, 40, 60, 80, 300, 20, 40, 60, 80, 400, 20, 40, 60, 80, 500, 20, 40, 60, 80, 600, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 700, 10, 20, 30, 40, 5, 6, 47, 48, 49, $750. That's $75 per week for 10 weeks for summer groceries. And this will start July, the first week of July, which of course is 4th of July. So I have not counted in that, but if I have any grocery money from this month, I'm going to save it over and then I'll see what is left. If not, we'll just have hot dogs and whatever we can afford on our budget. So $750, that's going back into this envelope. Now that's going to be done with this. Our monthly um, envelopes are stuffed and I already have one dollar from the one week one challenge saved so i'm going to be able to pull out the rest of that money in cash but i had a dollar in the house just left over from somewhere so i'm going to put that in one of these empty ones just for my savings challenge so i'm going to make this my savings challenge uh, envelope This money's going in my wallet for groceries. So that's groceries and preps for the beginning of the month. And there it is, you guys, all the money that we stuffed from our cash envelope, from our cash categories. And that is it for the month of June. So if you have questions about what, how we stuffed or what we stuffed, let us know. Also, if you are interested in these envelopes that came from Shonversation Etsy shop, I will put a link for that in my description box of this video and all of my budget videos. If anybody is interested, I don't get any kickbacks from her. It's just a way to um, say, hey, I really enjoy your product and put it there. I don't, I'm not an affiliate of hers. She didn't even know I existed until I did that review video. And I did reach out to say, hey, I was reviewing your videos. Um, I'm also thinking about doing a giveaway 
of some of her envelopes. So be looking for a video coming from that. And we'll see how that goes in the next little bit. But anywho, there it is, you guys. Thanks so much for stopping by. If you like the video, thumb it up. Don't forget to subscribe. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye now.